Back to the mall. It'll take another like five, ten minutes. Or we're, I'm wasting time here. This is what I'm doing. We're supposed to be riding, you know. All right. Okay, guys. Here we are back at the Great Mall. So I think back here is a uh, EV Go charger. Uh, please just let me charge my bike, man. <laughs> Come on. Let me charge Trevor's bike, man. I hope. I hope there's nothing really. It looked like all of them were were able to be used so okay here we go there's a Tesla parked here but it's not plugged in why I don't understand why would you plug why would you park your car here if, uh, if you're not charging okay here we go I'm gonna do it gonna do it some people think oh I got EV I can park in the EV charging spots if I'm not charging okay all right guys here we go get ready to witness the first time I'm gonna DC fast charge a successfully DC fast charger motorcycle <laughs> 50 is this 50 kilowatts or dude the ones that the, the electrify America ones are 150 kilowatts that's like three times as powerful as this. That's nuts. Okay, so what do we have to do now? I think we got a tap, tap, tap card. Let me get my card. Okay, here we go. All battery electric vehicles welcome. So what? What now? Do I just? Start charging now. I did. I, I held it to the thingy. It's not doing anything. Shall I just plug it in? I guess. Let's do it. This one seems a lot lighter than the other ones. Oh, there we go. Uh, CCS. Start. The RFID card in. Oh, oh, I heard something. The bike is doing things. The bike is doing things. It says DC fast charging initialization. You can do it. Come on. It says it's initializing. Oh, it says error. Check connection to vehicle to the adapter if using Tesla. Isolation fail. What? Isolation test fail. It 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 didn't work. I want to try it again, and then if it doesn't work, we'll try the other one. Uh, maybe I'm not doing something right. I don't know. This is not as easy as a uh, just a J plug, man. <laughs> charging will start when the current charging vehicle finishes. Okay, it says it's, it's initializing. It's not doing anything, guys. So bad, dude. <laughs> Should we just use the regular J plug? Oh, that's what that guy's using. He's using the J plug. What is this? What's this for? Oh, okay, I see. That's, oh, they're using, because the J plugs are free here. Huh. Oh, it's doing, oh, it says charge error. Charge error, problem communicating with vehicle. 
it, it won't talk to it. What the heck? Okay, well, we're gonna try the other one now. Okay. I'm just gonna put it back. Uh, alright, let's try this one. Plug connector into vehicle, okay. Dude, these these connector these ca cables are much lighter than the. Uh... Oh, okay. You said you have to do it fast. You can't have it. You can't have it plugged in for a long time. Oh, oh, there, it did it! It did it! I did it, guys! <laughs> I did it, I'm charging, I'm DC fast charging at 18 kilowatts right now. 59 amps. It says it's gonna take 16 minutes to charge to 80% state of charge. It's at 31% right now. Yes, I did it! <laughs> you, you don't know how, how happy I am that I got that to work. I don't know why the other one wouldn't work, man. So... I don't know. So I guess we just gotta hang out here. I don't think there's really much to do, so I'm gonna hang out here for 15 minutes, watch it charge, okay guys? <laughs> um, I, what, a, what an ordeal, man, it was to get this thing to charge. I have to say the 50 kilowatt hour um, uh, cables are much lighter than the than the the big the beefy like the 150 kilowatt ones. It felt like it was gonna break the charge port. That's how heavy it was, man. Couldn't believe it. But anyway, there you go. It's charging. It says DC fast charge. 18 kilowatt at 59 amps, okay? 18 kilowatts. So this is this can do 50 kilowatts. So it's not really... It's only using like less than half of what the station can do, you know? It's pretty quiet. It's not doing much. It's at 34%. Already. I already put in 3%. So look at that, man. It's doing it. You can lock it here too, I think. Yeah, you can lock it to the bike, but I'm just gonna watch it charge. Um, there's kind of nothing to do here. Like, I think you can go. Uh, you might be able to go into the mall, but I don't think they'll let you eat in the mall. It's pandemic, you know. So, all right, there you guys go. That's uh, Hades Mega's first DC fast charge. We tried. Um, we tried to electrify America on the other side of the mall. Then we tried, um, we tried to go to the Walmart, and the, the connector was broken there. Because um, I looked it up on the app, and it said it was under repair. I was like, oh, man. So that's why it's not working. And then the other one was being used by uh, Nissan Leaf, okay? I don't think you can have two things connected at the same time. And then, uh, oh, yeah, they're talking to each other. They both say 36. So this one says... This one tells you how much energy is delivered. So right now it, we've got almost three quarters, uh, three quarter watt hour, or um, yeah, three quarters of a kilowatt so far have been put into the bike. That's fast. Wow, we. It's quiet. You don't hear anything. It's just charging. It's nuts. <laughs> it's charging. It's charging really fast. I like it. It says you got thirty one miles range. So the question that we have to figure out now is where are we going to charge when we get to highway nine okay so i want to charge before we get to highway nine so we make sure we got enough range to do that okay i know my impulse can do it from home so i think we'll be fine but we're a little bit farther from where my house is so um so i think we had rode like 50 miles yeah we've ridden we rode like 50 miles and we 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 had 30 percent charge left so that leads me to believe 30 percent you might be able to go 60, you might be able to go 60, 70 miles on a charge, okay? And Hades Mega was kind of getting on it a little bit, okay? Um, so that's, that's what I got so far, all right? <laughs> okay? So, so uh, the charge adventure continues. Now I got to go find another place to charge. All right, Hades Mega. So we're just going to be chilling here for 13, 13 minutes, maybe. We'll stay here for 20 minutes. We'll try to get it up to like 90% and then and then we'll go. Okay. But it, at 80% it should start charging slower, okay? All right, here's Mega. All right, here's Mega here. Um, we're going to go uh we're going to go head out in a bit. Just going to plug my phone in here.
Okay, I'm gonna. So, um, what I found out is Charge Point's HQ. Charge Point HQ is is near Highway Nine. Okay, it's near the Electrify America charger. It's funny. Um, the one, the Electrify America charger is closer to Highway Nine. Okay, but it, but they're literally the, the a Charge Point is actually right down the street from it. Okay, so from the Electrify America charger. So we're gonna go do it now. We're, it's charging at 8 kilowatt right now. It's at 93%, and we've been charging for 25 minutes. Hades Mega went and used the bathroom, so <laughs> like, I went in the and then I found out. How do I stop this? Okay, I hit stop. Northwest toward Great Mall Drive. Okay, charging has stopped. Okay, we're done charging. Uh, we got 7.2 kilowatts. Is how much? Okay. Um, that should show up in my EV. I'll show you. I'll tell you guys how much it costs later. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I was charging my camera too. One of my cameras. It's not charging for whatever reason. So, uh, what? A, what? I'm, all I'm gonna say is, what an adventure today has been. Definitely, it's not turning out the way I planned it to. These Electrify America chargers are really disappointing, man. <laughs> I can tell you. There's there's an Electrify America charger next to uh, uh, next to Hades Omega's house, okay? Or near down the street from Hades Omega's house. Make sure I got everything. Yeah, okay, good. I think we go go this way. Okay, yeah, there's a there's an Electrify America charger at uh, Oh, uh, where is it? There's an Electrify America charger at, uh... What was it? Uh, oh, down the street from Hades Omega's house. And it's not even functioning, man. It's been... I've been seeing it there for like a whole year and it's still not running, man. I'm really disappointed. I was hoping we could use it on this trip. Oh, man, it's not good to jump this thing, man. <laughs> There's something clunking. There's something clanking around on the back of this bike. Kind of. I mean, I guess since it's so quiet, you know, it's you could hear you'd hear things like normally you wouldn't hear on a motorcycle, you know. But all right, we got 93%. Not bad. 25. It took 25 minutes to get it from about 30% to to 90%. So. That's not too bad. All right, so this is gonna be kind of be a kind of boring freeway ride, okay? So, but I will, I'll, I'll get some clips here and there, and I'll let you know, know how the riding experience is riding the Eva on the freeway for long distances, okay? I think it'll be fun. We'll see. We'll see how it does with the wind and all that stuff. Okay, so. So our next stop is a charge point, uh, charge point DC fast charging station. Okay, um, it is at charge point HQ, which is in uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, it's in Saratoga. So, okay, we're gonna go there, and then after that, we're gonna hit up Highway Nine. All right, cool.